Welcome to your daily missed motivational, inspirational success tips. This is JJ Burden. 150 episodes we hit yesterday, and I forgot to celebrate it. I mean, that's something special, right? 150 episodes of my podcast, The Daily Miss. So this is my way of just thanking you. Thank you for being a listener. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing it. And just thank you for getting value out of this. And I'm assuming you're applying what you're learning. But I'm grateful because as I shared in one of my early, earlier podcasts, this was not something I planned on doing. I mean, I've thought about doing a podcast for many years. I've had so many people recommend, you should do a podcast. You'd be great. You know a lot of people. You could have a lot of guests. And and I thought, yeah, there's some truth to that. But then I started to look at my other commitments. I have two businesses. I'm a professional speaker. I have an online health and wellness business through Isagenics. I've been married 33 years. I have children. I'm a grandfather. I just have so many other responsibilities. And I realized that, you know what? I don't have any bandwidth. (laughs) I've been stretched so thin already. I pretty much can handle what I'm doing right now to add something that would be counterproductive. That's not always easy to do, right? We have so many opportunities that are being offered to us. If you're on social media and you're active, someone's probably in your DMs frequently offering this opportunity and that opportunity. And many times it's very, very tempting. But it worked out well for me with what I, the direction I went in. And just to remind you, it wasn't my idea. I have a friend of mine who's always followed my social media posts over the years as I've shared my success tips. And he said, you know, these are great. You should put these on a podcast because I'd like to listen to these while I'm working out. And I thought, well, that's that's a little that's a lot of work. I don't have time to do this. He says, no, you just set up a podcast, record on your phone and hit submit. That's it. And that's what I did. And that's how the Daily Miss was really born. But there is a teaching point here I I truly want to emphasize because it is so important to recognize your limitations. Even having this podcast, I recognize my limitation. You don't hear any music. I don't do any editing. I don't have any guests. I'm not trying to market this thing in a way to do advertising or win some awards. Nope, nope, nope. Just raw and real whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm feeling, or maybe there's some content I've shared in the past that would be applicable. I grab my mic, I grab my phone, and we just hit record and we go for it. Simple and easy. And I'm able to be consistent. And I'm going to be even more consistent too. Many of you know who've been following for a while, I got sick. Uh, Day after the Super Bowl, I got Valley Fever. And if you don't know about Valley Fever, look it up. It hit me pretty bad three and a half months, attacked my lungs, and that just threw my game off because I was pretty consistent either every day or every day with the daily miss. So it's really throwing me off, but I'm slowly working my back into a routine because I do really enjoy this. It gives me the opportunity to pour into you, to give you value, to share some of the success tips and winning strategies I've learned over the years. Also allows me to test content. Many don't know, sometimes I'm testing content either content I'm going to use for trainings or for keynote presentations or even social media posts. But I do want to leave you with one small thought. Just remember this. There are many opportunities out there, as I said, and you're probably in offer this and that. And it's important for you to understand your bandwidth. And just sometimes, you know, not all opportunities are to be seized and you got to be smart. Whatever you decide to do, make sure it fits with your goals, if it's with your commitment, your schedules, and just what you absolutely can invest in. That's a bad, a hard lesson I learned after my NFL career as I tried to get in six different businesses. It was crazy. I was in six different businesses. I was spread so thin. And it was a lesson I learned. Um, You know, four of them ended up failing. 
too hung on for about 10 years. But the point is I'm very careful about what I get involved in. If I cannot fully commit to it, I'm not doing it. And that's something you want to keep in mind as well. But I do appreciate you all. Please keep sharing. Please keep subscribing and please apply what we're sharing on here. I want to see you keep winning. Have a great day and always remember, stay positive.